Oh my god, guys. Are you seeing what I'm seeing in the distance? Waylord, baby. Oh my god. Another Sharpedo? No. Get away from us, dude. Get out of here. Come on, Waylord. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. No. No. They really did. <laughs> they really did it, though. They really just made it tiny and <laughs> this looks so stupid. What is up everyone, Munching Orange here, and welcome to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor expansion. The first ever DLC Pokemon has dropped for Sword and Shield and for any of their main series Pokemon titles. I am very excited to check out all of the new content waiting for us here, but first I want to explain a couple of things as this playthrough is actually going to be a little bit different than the ones you might be used to on my channel. So I actually streamed through pretty much the entirety of the DLC yesterday on twitch.tv slash notmunchingorange. So even though I'm a little bit late with episode one, all the rest of the episodes are pretty much ready to go. I just have to edit them. So if you guys want to see them all uploaded as a marathon throughout this weekend, like I did back in the day make sure to hit that like button down below if we can reach a thousand likes i'll upload episode two and keep on going all the way till the end of the dlc i really wanted to not take forever to beat this like i have with previous playthroughs so i decided to just stream it instead and it was actually a ton of fun so if you haven't already go follow me over there on twitch i'm gonna be streaming live tonight as well the day that this comes out and if you're watching it later on still go follow me i'm gonna be playing a bunch of other games and i hope you enjoy this video even if it's not exactly what you're used to it was a really fun experience and it's gonna help me get videos out a lot quicker so without further ado let's head into the isle of armor wait a minute what's happening what did, did the whole train car just get picked up? Okay, well, here we are. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on the island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch here, right? I'll update your Pokedex. National Dex? Oh my god! Not really. Not, not yet, at least, but... It's getting there, guys, you know? We only had to pay an extra $30 to finally get, you know, the expanded Pokedex. Come back and show me your decks later, okay. So I guess it wasn't the whole train cart that was picked up. It was just uh, one person at a time on the Corviknight taxi. By the way, have you guys seen the Pokemon Twilight Wings animation? It's so cool, dude. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside. I'm a bit scared to head out. Who could it be? Avery? It's Avery in Pokemon Sword, right? Oh, no, it's Clara! Okay! There you are! Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm, have you met before or something? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, it do matter, though. <laughs> I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo a while, so they sent me to help out the newbie. What? Who? I'm the newbie? Hold up, last time I checked, we're the champ. I, that's some disrespect right here. Come on, I know you're the new student who's supposed to join the Master Dojo. So I'm a newbie now automatically? What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? <laughs> but I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. I like the alliteration there, a lot of... <laughs> well then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so you know, we can see who's better. I'll be waiting outside, so come on out when you're ready. Dang, Clara's just intimidating the dudes out here. He'll never know what hit him. Oh my god. You'll never see it coming? Or is she really supposed to be from... What's what's that show? Demon Slayer. <laughs> She's totally that one girl from Demon Slayer. I forgot her name, but I'm, I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Here we are. The Isle of Armor at last. In its full glory. Not in a trailer cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armor. Bet you can't wait to start exploring. Yeah, shut up. We need to make sure you're ready, since I've already been at the Master Dojo for a little while. I'll be the one testing you out. What is that face? Go easy on me, okay? No. That's, uh... That's a 
that's the last thing we're gonna be doing, Clara. So here we go, our first battle versus the totally not poison gym leader. I don't really know what she is, but she's definitely not an official gym leader yet. Remember, it's just a test, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle as I knock you out flat. bro. those faces she makes are so weird. Maybe not the best Pokemon to have first off. Well, actually, I was talking about Mojo, but her having a Venipede is probably even worse. Why is her first Pokemon a Venipede, guys? Like, what? <laughs> first Pokemon down. Sabo and Scorbunny are gonna get level 13. That's how you know Venipede was weak AF, bro. We didn't even get enough to evolve yet. So now she's gonna have Galarian Slowpoke, I'm guessing. How am I the one getting backed into a corner? You never put baby in a corner. <laughs> or baby bite. And that's what Slowpoke is about to do, I think. But I'm pretty sure this thing is psychic and poison type. So still gonna be weak to the knockoff here. And that's it. Clara literally only has two Pokemon, dude. Why? <laughs> I mean, we're not even gonna get enough experience to evolve our starters yet. Oh, that was cool how her little ear things flared up like her bow tie not a bow tie but you know what i'm trying to say my next pokemon's gonna make short work uh huh that was my last one yeah that's how the cookie crumbles clara that's how the clara crumbles no 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 there must be some mistake not good not good at all man how this kid gets so strong if this kid joins the dojo nobody's gonna pay attention to my strength I could just tell him to buzz off. Now, they asked me to bring in his new student. Hmm. What's she gonna do? <clears throat> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all. But still. You see, our dojo is one that's got a long-standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it. So, how about this? Why not enjoy the sights? Just stay away from the Master Dojo over there, okay? What? Here, I'll even give you this. You know, a souvenir. What is this? They're, they're keeping it away from us, dude? Okay, just show that when you visit a boutique or hair salon, and they'll let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway, I guess that's that. Toodaloo! Nice. Well... Can't go to the dojo yet, but at least we can explore the island. Let's see what our first new item here is. The Galerica twig. What? What is this? A twig from a species of tree called Galerica that grows in certain areas around the Galar region. Okay. It's an accessory. Uh, I guess I probably should have read the last line there, but oh my god, look! Bro, there's Galarian Slowpoke out in the wild already. And what is that? A Bonary? Okay, all of these are probably new Pokemon, right? What the heck? Why did I think that was not an item? Definitely is an item, though. The Max Revive! Yeah, we probably should just go to the dojo anyway. Like, there's no way she can stop us. We already beat her Venipede down. Uh, I see a Dynamax Raid Den thing out there, so that means we can definitely go in this water. We got Tentacool, okay. Kind of weird that Tentacool wasn't in the original. You know, Sword and Shield. Oh my god, guys. Are you seeing what I'm seeing in the distance? It's a giant Waylord. Not Gigantamax, just actually gigantic Waylord. Hold on, let me grab this item real quick. A clever feather. We're gonna head over there, man. This is what I was most excited for in the DLC. This is what everyone was ready and waiting for, dude. Holy crap, he's actually so far out, too. That's how you know this boy is gigantic. What is that? Hello? Sharpedo? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? He's actually so fast though. Oh my god. I couldn't even speed up, dude. Why did I think that was a Mega Sharpedo for a second too? No, it's just regular old Sharpedo speeding at us. Nothing happened though. It's just literally you encounter a battle. Like, I had heard of this. I hadn't seen it yet, but I saw someone like... Uh, tweeted like running away from Sharpedo right now or something and I thought somehow the Sharpedos could actually attack you But no instead you attack them, you know like like usual So goodbye Somehow that Sharpedo is gonna give us more experience 
than Clara Slowpoke did. Like, really, dude? I don't think I've ever seen a Drizzile evolve, at least on the playthrough. Because I did it in Pokemon Shield. I mean, technically, during the original playthrough, I showed clips of both games, right? This guy right here... Naruto! Or... Kakashi? Yeah, he looks more like Kakashi to me. <laughs> Raboot! I love him, dude. The edgy little bunny there. But now we get to what really matters. What we came here for, guys. I guess you can explore this little island, too. Wait, I swear I just saw a glowing little item around here. Am I tripping? Or was it just the, the puddle of water? Okay, whatever. Let's go! Waylord, baby! Oh my god, another Sharpedo? No! Get away from us, dude! Get out of here! Come on, Waylord! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! No! No! They really did- <laughs> They really did it, though! They really just made it tiny and- <laughs> This looks so stupid! No way, dude! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. It's literally just an XP farm. That's all that Waylord is there for. It's just for you to farm experience from it, dude. Oh my god, what the recoil, though? Holy crap, okay. Well, Rabu and Drizal are gonna very quickly catch up, but... Wow, what the frick? <laughs> that thing was humongous, and now it's just gone? I mean, I can't be the only one that's disappointed, guys. Come on. Also, there's an invisible wall. Uh oh, I thought it would be like over there where you see those waves. I mean, I figured there would be an invisible wall, though, but man, <sighs> literally the biggest disappointment I've ever seen as we find a dubious disc, which will, of course, uh, evolve Porygon 2 into Porygon Z. All right, I'm pretty sure I saw a regular executor out here. Non Alolan version. Whoa, is that a ditto? Wait, what the heck is that little tiny thing? That is a ditto. And an executor. Hello. I wonder how these new Pokemon react to you, like, whistling at them or ringing the bell. Oh, I guess he's not aggressive. Oh, wait. What? He comes right up to us, but he is not going to mess with us, dude. That executor is scared. Fun fact, that Waylord is the highest level thing in the entire DLC. Yeah, buddy, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. When I heard the rumor that everything was going to scale to your level, I thought that would be sick because uh, apparently you can access the wild area or I mean the DLC as soon as you get to the wild area. Oh, my God. Sharpedo, get away from me. No, no, no. Oh, my God, dude, these Sharpedos. They're nutty, bro. Wait, was there anything back there? I almost don't want to explore because I feel like I'm wasting time, but... There is totally a cave back here. I feel like I should just be going straight for the dojo, but you know what? This is stream munch, okay? This is different. We're exploring first and doing the story later, all right? We're getting to the stuff that people really care about, which is wherever we are now. What is this, actually? Oh, my God. We got a Wismer and Polyrath. Exploud over there. I wonder if we can find... Or Sorry, that's Loudred. I wonder if we can find Exploud, though. Oh, I think that this actually just, uh, oh, the Armorite Ore. It can be obtained in the Isle of Armor. Something good will happen if you give it to a collector. Okay. Well, we haven't seen that collector yet, but I'm pretty sure this path will lead us back over to the dojo. Uh, this is not a trainer, though, or she doesn't want to battle, I guess. I came here from a different region. I've been looking for a certain Pokemon. Maybe you have a Marowak from here? How about trading one of your Marowak? I could give you one from my region. Ooh, is this the Alolan Marowak? That's got to be what it is, dude. Because she's from another region, and she wants to trade Marowak for Marowak. So it's got to be the Alolan right there. We got Poliwag. We got a Chansey. Okay. Chansey Farm. Reminds me of the days of Pokemon Let's Go where Chansey was the way you would, like, grind up experience. You just had to catch a million Chanseys. Drudigon is out here? Bruh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, play this the way that I want, guys. All right, so if you have tips, like, I'll listen and all that. But, you know, just don't expect me to rush to the dojo immediately. I'm going to explore a little bit. We're going to see what's new here. 
and like get situated in the aisle, you know? This is a whole new island to explore, dude. A whole new wild area, basically. It seems so far like it's got a lot more like hidden, not hidden, but like corridors, I guess. As we get TR31 Iron Tail. What? You can get a TR in the wild? Does that mean it's never gonna respawn? That TR is just gone forever now? It's fun to explore, but did you find any diglets? Oh, dude, there's there's plenty of diglets in that last meme of Pokemon video. If you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> that guy was funny, man. That, that was definitely one of the funniest interviews in that whole episode, but uh, we got a bottle of iron, very appropriate for the Isle of Armor. Well, I don't know why I thought it was Isle of Iron for a second, but armor is sometimes made of iron, so it makes sense, you know? I will try to get a new team eventually. Like, I'm not really too worried about it right now because I'm sure we're going to catch a lot of Pokemon here in the DLC. Uh, maybe after we catch some, you know, you guys can let me know which ones you want me to add on to the team permanently. As our first one is going to be Wismer. The cry of a Wismer is over 100 decibels if you're close to one. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess I'll read them just because sometimes it's nice to get little fun facts of the day like that from Pokemon, you know. So whatever, I'll just read him. Uh, what the heck is up here, though? Oh my god, a wild rock rough, dude. The challenge road. Oh, look at him, though. Why is he so cute, though? I actually love this because I think one of the main things I said about Sword and Shield is in the regular routes, they didn't feel as open as the wild area. But like the DLC is literally just one giant wild area, dude. Every route is seamlessly connected, like all the Pokemon just spawn in as you make it to different parts. I really like that so far. I don't know if I like riding the bike that much though, like... I guess this area is too big though, whereas if you just walked the whole time, it would take a minute. Whoa, we got wild lichen rocks too? Not just the rock roughs? Oh god, Braviary, get out! No! Oh no! <laughs> As much as I want to keep exploring, we got to head to the dojo eventually, but where the frick it- what the- Bro, this place is actually way bigger than I thought. Wait, this is one of the towers too. Okay. Yeah, we should probably not head up there yet. That's the dark tower or the tower of darkness. And then we have the water tower, which sounds like it would just be a regular, you know, water tower that firefighters use- or not firefighters, but the thing that supplies water to towns and neighborhoods and stuff. Is that a Lillipop? Yeah. I can't tell what half of these Pokemon hiding in the grass are, dude. Alright, we got some Carbos. But yeah, what I was saying is, this place is huge to just walk in. So I want to use the bike, but I don't really like our current, like, setup. So I want to get the bike upgrade and then, you know, it'll look at least a little bit nicer. <gasps> Fletchinger! What? I didn't realize they had Talonflame in here, bro. Let's go. He's going to run right into us, too. Okay, should I get the DLC? I'm not sure yet, second. I mean, I recommend it just because I love Pokemon, but I haven't played enough of it to be like, to let you know whether or not it's worth the money, you know? If you love Pokemon though, and you have the money, then yeah, definitely get it, but I guess I can't let you know if it's exactly worth it yet. But Fletchinger launches embers into the den of its prey. When the prey comes leaping out, Fletchinger's sharp talons finish it off. It was confirmed in the first trailer. Bro, I guess I just was not paying attention to these trailers then. Like, I'll be honest, guys. I react to the trailers, but I'm going to forget half of the stuff that was in them, you know? At this point, it's like I'm playing this, seeing it all for the first time ever. You can find a wild Talonflame too? Okay. Well, I guess we'll wait then. As so we got Lillipup. I think that was actually new in the decks. <laughs> Bro, I- oh wait, what? It's literally right there! Okay! Well, that was- that was quick. I missed that cry too, man. I just love Talonflame. Talonflame might be, like, my favorite of the early bird Pokémon. The quick ball doesn't fail! <laughs> you wish there were Gibbles that acted like land Sharpedos? Bro, I could see them doing that eventually. Whoa! Robin is actually learning Brave Bird. For a second, I thought it was Talonflame. I'm like, how? We don't even have it yet, but no, it's going to be our Corviknight here. But yeah, that'd be awesome if in the next DLC, I mean, we know that Garchomp is going to be in it. So if they have little gibbles that chase you around like land sharks, that'd be awesome, dude. 
Talonflame is gonna be the scorching Pokemon. They mainly prey upon other bird Pokemon. To intimidate opponents, it sends embers spewing from gaps between their feathers. Damn, so confirm Pokemon or eaten other Pokemon out here? I feel like that's always been confirmed low-key, like that's just nature, you know, but they never really explicitly show it. However, they are gonna at least say it in the Pokedex. Oh, there's the upgrade. So we got the dubious disc earlier, now we got the upgrade. So now we can get ourselves all the way to a Porygon Z. But do we even have a Porygon though? That's the question. I don't think so. I don't even know why I'm catching all these Pokemon. I think I'm just like happy that there's more stuff to catch finally, so. I mean, I didn't even mean that as a pun either because we literally caught Happini and I'm saying how I'm happy, but you know, I'm happy for Happini, I guess. I'm pretty sure Porygon wasn't in the original, right? So he's got to be somewhere here on the island. What is this thing, though? Oh, it's a Fomantis, dude. Nice. I remember seeing one of those in the trailers. Or maybe it was Lurantis, but we got Scyther out here, too. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool, dude. I don't know. I feel like half of these Pokemon, I guess just seeing them in Sword and Shield now, it just feels like they were always meant to be in it. But clearly they weren't. Like, that's what makes this amazing. Like, finally, we have everyone in here. This is like Smash Bros, bro. Everyone is here. Let's see who's in the cave, though. Uh, I'm gonna probably not catch all these guys, but... Oi, oi, we don't get too many trainers out in these pots. Is that it? They call me Diggin' Pa. You've met the Diggin' Duo. Well, they'd be my sons. What? The Digging Duo's dad? <laughs> Haven't got any armor at all, have ya? You know, it's that rare type of rock the Isle of Armor's known for. If you just give us a few pieces of that ore, I'll put these fine old muscles straight to work, digging you up loads of watts. You know what? Our meeting feels like a real stroke of luck. If you like, I'll dig you up some watts for free to mark the occasion. You'll need to just dot down your progress. Yeah, sure, why not? We're doing this live anyway, so might as well just get it out the way. I've dug up 2,000 watts. Yes, of course. Oh my god, another 2k? Boy, 1,500. Okay. 3,000 watts? Oh my god. Oh, 8,000? Bro, the digging paw is insane. Look at this. He just keeps going too. 25,000 watts. Just from the digging paw. One time, dude. And there's actually a Cubone. That one girl wanted a regular Marowak, so... Definitely got to catch one for her, but bro, that was crazy. We'd be rolling in those watts, bro. Yes. I hope they actually have stuff that we can buy with the watts, though, because as of right now, watts aren't incredibly useful. But hey, we get Cubone at least. When the memory of its departed mother brings it to tears, it cries. Its cries echo mournfully within the skull it wears on its head. Oh, gosh. So Cubone just hears itself perpetually crying. No wonder it's known as the lonely Pokemon. All right, we got Sand Shrews out here. What the heck is this? A cluster of odd mushrooms. Can you... Okay, I'm guessing that's going to be for later on in the story then, because I thought it would for sure be like an item that we could get from it, but didn't I just see an item sparkling right there? Oh yeah, it's right here. Not on the rock, but... Oh my god, I can't do it, dude. There we go. It's a quick ball, boys. Our favorite. What was up here, though? Aha! Another TR, it seems. Stealth Rock. Hey, what's up, Jethro? Please tell me you're doing the Tower of Darkness because I need footage. <laughs> Everyone else just gets wet. Oh, no. No, this is a no splash zone today, okay? We're gonna go Tower of Darkness, boys. Even though I think I had said I like the Rapid Strike Urshifu better, which I think might be the water one. But, nah, bro. We gotta go with the Edge Lord, The Darkness. The Tower of Darkness, dude. That's where I was born. Where I was raised. Oh my god. We're in the desert now. What? Dude, this island is actually so much bigger than I thought. What the heck? But what I meant earlier is, like, it's split off into sections. It's not just, like, one big wild area. Like, I guess the original wild area was split into two parts, you know? This one is, like five areas so far we had the cliffs the desert the beach you know the ocean i like this man i love the variety so far what do you got for us lady oh my gosh i saw the most awesome pokemon ever i can show you it's awesome pokedex entry for just like 100 watts sure 
We got 100k to spare, so why not? Why was I about to say Pachirisu though? Oh my god. Deden! Yes. Is that not completely, totally awesome? Uh, sure. I guess. So she'll show you a random Pokedex entry every day. Probably a Pokemon that can be found not in the game or that aren't found in the game. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that wasn't very awesome. I gotta admit. <laughs> she died? Oh no. <laughs> She's disappeared into the ether. Hey, what's up, Scrafty? Mr. Hoodlum himself. I've just noticed there is wild Rhyperiors out here. Sandaconda's chilling too. Got another TR. That's a lot of TRs, dude. Oh gosh. Okay, the bike kind of scared me for a second. I thought we were going straight head on into Rhyperior there. We got Sandile. I don't think Sandile was actually in... Yeah, it wasn't in Sword and Shield, so that's a new one there. I like me some Crocodile. You guys know, I think I used that one back in Black and White. Like, the original playthrough. Or maybe it was Black and White too. I'm not sure now. <laughs> but it was definitely one of them. How big is this place though, dude? Let's check the map. Whoa, okay, we're like all the way at the north part. We got the Honeycomb Sea up there too. The Honeycomb Island. Insular Sea. Stepping Stone Sea. Okay, there's actually a lot to explore here, dudes. So maybe I should probably focus on, you know, the story first. Get all that done and then we'll explore the rest of the areas. Like after we head back from this desert, that is, because I'm kind of enjoying checking out the desert right now. Uh, what's at the end of it, though? Hold up. Pretty sure there was an item right here. Come on, sparkle for me, dude. I swear I keep seeing sparkles and they're not actually there. Oh, Bindi was from Sun and Moon. Oh my god. Okay. Never mind. See, you guys know better than me, bro. The flame orb. Heck yeah. Finding, like, just battle items like that in the wild is awesome. Like, I know that you can get them from the BP store in the battle tower, but... Not everyone likes doing that, you know? It's nice of them to give you at least one flame orb just randomly in the wild like that. But yeah, dude, I guess I've had multiple uh, crocodiles. We had Bindi in Ultra Sun and Moon, and then I'm pretty sure we had a different one back in Pokemon Black and White. And that's it. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to win that battle, to be honest, guys. I mean, <laughs> that was... Uh, the loss was to be expected there since we went with the AI and it was a five star. Like if it was lower stars, maybe we could have done it, but a five star, nah. So let's get the heck out of this desert now and over to the dojo, dude. I think it's finally time we head to the dojo. I wonder if we can get there from here though. Like if it all just connects or loops around. Maybe this wild area is actually smaller than I'm making it out to be, you know? <laughs> I think it just feels bigger than the original because it's sectioned off into different, well, sections. But if you put it all together, it's probably the same size or maybe a little bit bigger. But what's over here? Hold up. Another TR? Of course. This is like perfect spot for a TR. And a bunch of Aerokudas. Come on. Or is that Barracuda? I think Aerokuda is the first form and this is Barracuda, yeah. Not a Pokemon I really fought all that often, so I can barely remember the name, but... Oh, is there anything else over here? Hold up. No, just the ocean. Ocean man. Hey, it's raining. The Honeycomb Sea. Oh my... Is that a Clawitzer? Whoa. All right, so over there's the Tower of Water. Got to keep that in mind, because that's probably where we're going to be heading over to later. Uh, we get a Dragon Scale, too. Oh wait, that's Clauncher, not Clawitzer. So the, that's the water tower, and then the dojo's all the way back at the beginning. You know what, we might as well just fly back to the start. All right, this is gonna be easier. <laughs> Do we actually have a Slowpoke yet? I'm pretty sure we got one from when the trailer came out. The dude like gifted us one, or maybe we were able to catch it or whatever. Definitely don't have the slow bro though, which I guess now we can get. Uh, so maybe I should catch one of these wild ones because they're probably way higher level. All right, here we go to the dojo, friends. Did quite a bit of exploring, I gotta say. Oh my god, the Starry. Bro, why does it walk like that, though? 
What the heck? I'm so used to like Pokemon Let's Go where Starmie just floats. And like you can ride on its back, it just floats you around everywhere. Like seeing it actually tippy toeing like that is so funny. Hello. Oh. Oh, okay. So this girl will really just show you random Pokedex entries. And it's Fletchling this time. So I guess it's not just Pokemon that you don't catch here. I mean, maybe you do get Deden somewhere in the Isle of Armor then. Because Fletchinger was definitely out there in the wild, or at least its evolutions were. Whoa, the Abra teleporting around. Was that a clef key I heard? Dude, that totally is a clef key. What? I would recognize that clef key cry anywhere. There we go. The key ring Pokemon. Entrust the clef key with important keys and the Pokemon will protect him no matter what. But wait, what if you lose your clef key then? You put all your important keys on clef key, but then you lose your clef key. It's over. <laughs> And what happens when you trade a clef key? Like if you trade clef key with your friend, does that mean you're just giving him access to all your goods, all your locks and your house and car and all that? <laughs> Forget about stealing your keys. Clef key stole my wife. Oh no, not clef key, dude. Yeah, I love clef key too, dude. Got a little secret passage over here to the courageous cavern. I know I was totally supposed to go to the dojo. I guess I just got sucked into the exploring again. It's too nice, dude. There's there's too many little crevices and hidden areas to explore. I really like it, though. Like, I like the way this is laid out more than the original wild area. Although, I guess it would be kind of hard or harder if, uh, you know, there was a specific den that you were trying to find. And it was the one in this cave or something. I don't know. I guess people will eventually figure out what Pokemon spawn in which ones. So it won't be that difficult, but. I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to find not really something to complain about, but I'm trying to see like both the good and the bad side of it. You know, I really like the layout so far, though, how everything is like more sectioned off. I guess you could say there's like tunnels and paths and different parts to it. Like the Courageous Coward. <laughs> what a name, dude. That's definitely not an oxymoron. Whoa! Got the Triple Den out here. This was actually a thing in the original wild area, too. Like, there was a little part that had three dens right next to each other. And I guess we got that here, too. Ah, look at that. We got some Armorite Ore as well. So you can definitely pick that up just on the ground. And as we found out, you can use that to get more Watts from uh, the Digging Papa. <laughs> what a name, dude, the Digging Papa. I love it. Is there anything I don't love so far, guys? Come on. It's just, it's so, it's so lovely out here in the Isle of Armor. So many TRs too. I feel like these are kind of a waste though. Like, I don't think they respawn. If they respawn, then I guess it might be kind of cool if they randomly give you different TRs like for example that one that we just got there was Endure but <gasps> Whooper the no hand bandit but yeah like that TR we got there like what if tomorrow I come back and it's like a different TR that'd be kind of cool I doubt that they would do that but still Look at this we got a little pawn that he spawns at but yeah it'd be nice if those TRs were like they respawn with different ones every day because I mean they're TRs so you can only use them once if they're gone forever now from the wild area, it wouldn't be lame, but mm, I guess it'd just be cool to see them come back. Whoa, there's like a whole like swamp over here. All right, we got to check out this den over here or not because freaking Licky Licky is out here. Definitely didn't expect to see this man in the Isle of Armor. <laughs> Especially not in the swamp. Like, what are you doing out here, dog? What the heck is Licky Licky doing out here? Oh, no. Finally, the quick ball is not going to work out. And that means Mojo is going to go down. I guess it had to happen eventually, though, you know. I got my Galarian Farfetch, though. Logged in, and that was the first thing I po popped up. Another Armorite Ore. But what's going to be behind raid number three? Or two. It's, oh my god. <laughs> the double. 
Why the heck is it a double? Like what? Bro, I feel like these lasers, when it looks like this, it should guarantee you a Gigantamax or some super rare Pokemon. Like, how is it a double? Come on, dude. Not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, yes, we got the, the Quagsires out here. Little Choodles hanging out with, with Big Papa Dreadnought. Can you actually run into Pokemon in this grass too? Probably not, huh? Just the regular old green tall grass. Oh my god, Bofalant! Yes! Shout out Pokemon Snap, dude. First thing we saw in Pokemon Snap was Bofalant. It's confirmed, man. Bofalant is the new Tauros. It's over for Tauros, even though you can find both of them here, actually, but... Yeah, we definitely saw Tauros earlier. At least here in the Isle of Armor than we did Bofalant, but in Pokemon Snap, dude... It's all about that Buffalant life. Pokemon Smile. All right, how many of you guys are trying out Pokemon Sn Smile tonight when you go to brush your teeth? I mean, if you brush your teeth, you know, like we're gamers after all. What kind of what kind of gamer brushes their teeth? Come on, guys. But not for real. Come, you gotta have good hygiene, dudes. Like, I actually usually. I forget one of the two. Like, I brush my teeth at least once a day, but I always forget either at night or in the morning. Like, whichever one I forget to do is the one that I'll do later on, which is probably not good, but right through the soothing wetlands, and we will reach the backside of the dojo, or I guess kind of like the side side. <laughs> Who's the miner lady? Oh, this lady right here. Wow. You seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize it if you'd like. What? What? Just like that, okay. I'm a bike lady. I love bikes and bike maintenance. Do you want me to customize your bike with the design I came up with? Yeah? Which design? Glistening black or sparkling white? Oh, dude. That's totally what the uh, Pokemon black and white remakes are gonna be called right there. I'm gonna go for glistening black then. Your bike will shine with a special coating. Hold on a second. Oh, bro. Yes! Black and red! Like, those of you guys that know, you know, bro. This is my favorite color combination. Black and red. Oh my god, that's so much better! That is so much cooler than the old bike, bro. Look at that. It's even got a new particle effect chasing behind it. Oh, that is awesome. What about when we... Okay, I guess that's still the same, but... That's so cool, man. I wish I got this sooner. <laughs> Exploring the island would have definitely been nicer, but... All right, that's fine. Uh, let's try the sparkling white now just to see what it looks like. And... Epic! We get red and white now. That's still a pretty sick color combination. You know what, actually? Even though I like black more... <gasps> the little sparkling sound it makes, dude. So that's why it's called sparkling white, huh? Whoa, wait, what? Hello? Diglett? D? Trio, trio, trio. <laughs> Diglett. Oh, Diglett, you're here. Is this digging Papa? You little rascal. I was worried about you. Thank you for finding my Diglett. Uh, you're welcome? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right, this is a Diglett from the Alola region. When I traveled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. I caught a lot of Diglett there and came back, but they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. Diglett -dee! Anyway, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding Diglett. If it's okay, will you find all the other Diglets too? Oh my god, how many are there? <sighs> no. What kind of person you are? Words can't express how grateful I am. You found one Diglett. 150 more? Bruh. <laughs> if you find him, please tell them to come back to me. That's a lot of diglets. We definitely should have done this earlier because I feel like now we wasted our time looking around the island when, you know, we could have been finding these diglets the whole time. But that's just what happens when you try to explore and not follow the clear path that the game has laid out for you. <laughs> Zygarde cells be like, hey, that's way more than even the Zygarde cells. Weren't there only 70 of those? There's 150 Diglets, dude. Original 151 out here. 
So I'm gonna keep this one for a while because I feel like after I finish the DLC, I'm always only gonna use the black bike. So let's just use the white one for now. We will be shiny Infernape. Or not Infernape, uh, Incineroar. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home? Seems that way. Yep, I did my best to welcome him, but he just suddenly left after our battle. Oh, Clara, you scoundrel. And I've been hoping we get to welcome a new member to our little family here, too. Well, hello, and who are you, love? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Of course! You must be the new students that's supposed to join the dojo today! Uh, sure. That's me! Right, 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 right! Exactly, ma'am! I swear, he must have changed his mind about joining the dojo! Oh, but here you are! I'm so happy you decided to come after all! Oh, everything's just coming up roses! Now, I'm quite sure they already told me, but your name... Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a big deal, lady. That's right, you're orange. Of course you are, love. Though, I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. My name's Honey. I help keep this place running. <gasps> honey Mustard! Oh, Honey Mustard! <laughs> you can consider me the lady of the house. Not that the Master Dojo is just any old house. Damn, Clara. I kind of like Clara, though. Like, yeah, she got... She kind of rude, but <laughs> why? How? What does he think he's doing just showing up like that? This ain't good. Miss Honey will know that I lied. Seems you've already met our Clara. Bit of an odd ducklet, but she's one of our own. She's training here at the dojo so she can become a gym leader someday. I can trust the two of you to get along, right? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm sure we'll be best friends. Oh dear, but look at me! Here I am making you stand around outside after you've come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Time to simp for Clara? Nah, dog. We're simping for Honey. For sure. <laughs> Listen, if you dare tell Miss Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. Understand? Yeah, she's a bit of a ducklet, I gotta say. <gasps> Kabfu! Damn, right off the bat, this dude knows. Oh, wait, what? He just disappears? Never mind. Dang, feels bad for those of you guys stuck with Avery right now, huh? What is going on with this rock? Did you see that? I don't I don't I don't know if that's intentional, but it looks looks kinda awkward. <laughs> what do we got here though? An expert belt, but dang, this dojo is way bigger than like any other building in the whole region, I feel. Must be pretty big inside then. Watch it just be that one room though. Wait, what is that? Why did I think that was like a cricket or something? It's like a little crop growing. Just a single crop. What's this though? We'll grab this final item and then we'll head inside. A bottle of HP up. Unless actually there's something behind the dojo, which, oh. Well, there's a TR for Focus Blast. Oh, wait, that was a Diglett. <gasps> oh, that was one of the Diglets. Yo, and Jigglypuff too. It has a top-notch lung capacity, even by comparison to other Pokemon. It won't stop singing its lullabies until its foes fall asleep. Damn, I need some of those Jigglypuff lungs, man. I'm already running out of breath out here. I'm coughing up my lung. I need some more water, actually. That's That would probably be a good idea, so... When we head in the dojo, I'll get some more of that. Uh, we got another Galarian Twig or Galerica. You know, just more names added to confuse us. But most important of all, we got the crop. <laughs> Come on, dude. It looks it looks like a little... <laughs> okay, now that I look at it, it's so obvious that it's a Diglett. But I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, okay? It's Diglett. And it returned to its trainer. Now we have to find 17 more in just the fields of honor. Oh my god. Wait, there's literally another one right here. What the heck? Wow, this is going to take so long to find all these, dude. And they're also probably going to be so hard to spot. Well, actually, there's another one right here. Oh, wait. That's, uh... That would be a rock. Okay. Okay. <laughs>